Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create this infographic template in Gravity Designer. So let's get started with a new document. Alt N or Ctrl uh, Option N on your Mac. I'm gonna choose this block cover. Uh, scale a bit my uh, uh, canvas and start with the ellipse or so click E. I'm gonna size this ellipse with 212 on 42 pixels height like so. Now I'm gonna navigate to my fill and select a gradient, liner gradient and for the first uh, stop color I'm gonna choose this color ff b2 o1 ff b2 o1 and apply it to my white stop color then choose the dark stop color and apply the color dd4500 click ok and now click on this rotate gradient left twice one two very nice now navigate to the effects more and uh, choose the shadow and from this uh, menu choose long shadow we need to set the opacity to 100 percent and angle to negative 90 degrees uh, disable the fade and set the length of your shadow to around 40 Pixels. Now navigate to the color of your shadow and navigate to gradient. Apply the gradient and uh, here we need to put a seven color stops. First three on our left should occupy around 35% of the slider. So let's create a three, then uh, a stop color in the middle and then three stop colors that occupy 35% on the right. So let's start with the uh, leftmost. It's our white stop color. And I'm gonna set it to white. Uh, click all F and navigate to second. For second stop color, I, I'm gonna set all seven. Then for third stop color, I'm gonna set EF, 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 EF. In the middle, I'm gonna put A0, 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 A0. For my fifth stop color, I'm gonna put FE, FB, FD. FE, FB, FD. For my sixth stop color, I'm gonna set 7F, 7F, 7F And for the last top color we need to set D6, D6, D6 Brilliant Once we applied our Long shadow effect, we need to navigate to our text and add a text. For this, I'm gonna type a tutorials, set it to open sans, font size to 14 pixels, and set it to extra bold. Okay, and now from the color, I'm gonna set it to let's say 4f, 4f, 4f. Great. Now we need to type a subtitle. Set it to uh, 10 pixels. Regular open sans and set it to let's say 8484. Uh, eight, eight, four, eight, four. Great. Really nice. Now we need to create a circle that occupies around 
80% of height of this long shadow effect. So create a circle around here. I'm gonna sample the color from my uh, Vitorial's text. Really nice. Now I'm gonna Ctrl D, Command D to make a duplicate. Sorry, I'm gonna first Ctrl G, Command G to make a group, then Ctrl D, Command D to make a duplicate, and then move this duplicate to the bottom. And then Ctrl D, Command, Command D to repeat this operation again. Very nice. So we have our duplicates and I'm gonna set it with Ctrl Shift down arrow to the bottom. The same is here. Ctrl Shift down arrow and Ctrl Shift down arrow here. Command Shift down arrow on your Mac. I'm gonna scale it a bit. Uh, now we need to uh, select first uh, group and group it with Ctrl Shift G. Uh, select my. Uh, I'm gonna select my circle. Navigate to the more, adjust, and uh, set color adjust. And from here I'm uh, gonna move my slider with hue. Like so. Then Ctrl Shift G here. Select this circle and do the same. Again, color adjust. Shift my hue around here. And then Ctrl Shift G. Color adjust. And shift the hue. Okay, let's say here. Now I'm gonna create some numbers and put some numbers inside the circle. Uh, so for our numbers, I'm gonna create it in Open Sans, extra bold. I'm gonna scale it a bit, make it light, put it on dark background, resize it a bit more. Dragging on this red uh, point. I think it's okay. With my alt I'm gonna create three duplicates. Change numbers. And with my select them both. And use the short Ctrl Shift P. Or navigate to the modify path. And convert to path. Ctrl Shift P here. So now it's uh, an outline, it's not a uh, live font. And we can use a shape. Let me ungroup. She build a command with this circle. So I'm gonna select both of this uh, number and the circle, go to the uh, subtract command and subtract it from this circle. And as you can see, it's live effect, so I can adjust the placement of my number. Uh, then I'm gonna put it here and do the same operation here. Subtract and for last effect, I'm gonna increase a bit the length of my long shadow to around 50 here. And to around uh, 45 here. So, and this is basically the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, subscribe to Gravity Designer Medium Blog, and don't forget to visit tutorials for more Gravity Designer tutorials. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.